Right, so this is um, the second part of the video, uh, the video, the project. Um, yeah, so breathable felt onto the panels. I bought a row for 30 quid on the, the eBay for about 50 meters, so I've got plenty. This is like a, a waterproof uh, membrane. To stop, you know, things getting through and stuff. So that's well, mostly for roof and for ha wrapping houses as well. So it's perfect for wrapping uh, the shed. So this is a panel that I'm never going to really see much of because it's going to be butted up to um, um, the other the other shed. Um, the idea of uh, sheds that you got airflow going through. Um, these little battens I've got spaces for timber and work and they're just uh, basically just an air gap from the, the soffit the white soffit I'm going to be putting on um, yeah so I'm just hammering them in so I stapled the, the felt and um, yeah so It is, a, it is July when I'm doing this. Not the panel. It was um, I think end of May, June. But the weather was so bad, I couldn't do nothing. But I say this week, the weather's been really hot. 30, 25, 30 degrees. It's unbearable. So I'll be doing quite a lot of bits for the shed. Um... I see they're about about 2.4 high no they're not no no about 2.3 oh, 2.2 I can't remember exactly um, but yeah this is the only panel what I'm going to do separate only because I'm not you know, I can't get beside the shed to do the paneling so um yeah so here comes the panels oh, the panels nope not the panels, this is still more um, battens, I'm going to call them. They're about two inches by a mil. It's just air flow so the air can flow through. Yeah, so here's the, the soffit board. It's what I use so under the fascia. Um, it's never going to rot. It's easy. I can clean it. I just get the hose pipe, get a brush and wash it down. So they're about uh, 5, five metres, 5.1 metres long. Um, I can get, oh, as you see, one length to two. Two layers. Two layers. Um, but yeah. It just slots in easy. I've got some fascia pins, as they call them. Um, yeah, and here's another one. And <laughs> hand saw is the best way of cutting these. Um, if you use a circular saw, um, it makes a mess. I did one with a circular saw, and it, but yeah, it makes a mess. It was the splits. But yes, for hand saw was it. Yeah, it didn't take long to do really. Um, what I should have done down here was cut the ends off. But I didn't do that. I've cut one end off. I need to do the other one still. Um, but yeah, just just a hand saw. It's hard to reach over in the middle. But well, there you go. There's half of it. I don't know why this picture is in there. But you get a gist of it. So the panels are going up. Obviously the one on the right hand side I've done. Uh, i got a felt on it. These are the ones that I've made. Here is The back square. 
Um, so they're all fastened with um, spack screws. Uh, they're about two in four inches, and they're like a, a timber timber hex. Yeah, hex head about four inches long, and they're, they're amazing. So I'm just lining up the front here, just to, just to line it up, because I have to cut the front of the boards, just see in a minute, that um, I have to cut, because it wasn't square, and plus, I got two damaged ones, and the front was damaged, but I knew I could, I had to cut them anyway, only about, literally about, two mil maybe not even that um but yeah so i'm just a fashion I'm making a sweeping up as well and loads of different jobs but yeah i'm just marking out and i'll take it down again both the um, rain this weekend but we'll wait and see what happens I'm going to have to cover it up annoyingly. Here I am with my circular saw. I've got my ear protection on. Um, battery kept running out. I didn't charge. I forgot to charge the battery fully up. So I'm in and out. Changing batteries. Faffing around. But yeah. Don't forget to... Uh, like and subscribe to the channel and like the video, share it, do whatever you like with it. I'm still up to 499 subscribers, so yeah. More sweeping, it was really messy because we had so much rain, it's been unbelievable. And that, that panel on the right was down there, covered up, got a little bit wet, um, but it obviously it was dried fine now and also what I need to do is change the proxy blade on this saw already um, I use it quite a lot now there's a slow mill moving in it yeah. I need to change the blade I've got a new one and you just fell over I don't know what I'm even doing here. Oh yeah, I'm fastening the pan um the the front panel of the door. The other door I'm fastening screwing it in. But yeah, yeah, those screws are not and brilliant screws. And then I'm just felt um taping, taping, stapling the felt on the other side to overlap it, because that was from the. Because I don't know what I get in, so that's the best way of doing it. Just leaving a bit of access to wrap it around, and then I can. I was gonna do it, and then. I was going to cut the whole length for the shed out, but then it'll be really awkward. So I thought I'd do it, do the two corners for so the back corner where I am now, and um, that corner there by the, the door is already felted. Um, but yeah, I'm just putting some supports up. I'm literally finishing uh, this bit. I'm going in. Um, this is over the past week, so it's been pretty hot. As you can see, the tarpaulins on the garden there drying out because they were sopping wet. All right, next day, so I'm putting some more of that um, soffit up over here in the corner bit. Um, there is some trim going to go on the edge. Uh, I don't show it in the video, but um, on the right-hand side, there's going to be some two-inch uh, angle plastic that's going to go up all the way around, all the angles. It keeps it nice and cover the wall up timber. That was easy. That was the had one, uh, two bits left over. Um, so use one up 
and I had another bit, someone gave me some. But yeah, it didn't take long to do, that was two nights ago. The 20, what was it, 22nd today? But yeah, I've got my Crocs on, been a bit warm as I keep saying, but... Yeah, so on to the next job. What am I doing? Um, oh yeah, some two B two there. Um, put some two B two on the gable end, is it? I don't know. Down the side, just. I can't afford the roof yet. It's one hundred and seventy five quid for the roofing panels. As I said, I can't currently afford that. I have to wait. Normally, I have to wait. Um, but yeah, I've disappeared now for a bit. I think I went for my tea and I forgot. I left the camera running, but I do, I do cut it quite a bit.
so this is the end bit, um, end of the shed I'm just gonna do. Quite difficult when you try and do it all by yourself, but um, managed, pretty good. So this is part two. Um, yeah, you come to the end now. Um, I won't bore you. Leave me, leave me voice over. Um, just appreciate all the comments, likes, subscribers I get. Um, uh, a thousand would be brilliant, but you know it's not gonna happen. Um, I'm struggling even to get five hundred, but anyway, never story. Um, yeah, so it should nearly done ish. Hopefully, end of September, I better afford um, to purchase uh, the roof. This is 175 quid. Currently can't afford that, so I'm going to have to wait. So, I'm going to have to cover up the tarpaulin this weekend because it's going to pee down. But yeah, um, I'll let you crack on, stop buffering on. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Much appreciate it and see you all soon. Bye bye.